Yo, what's good? Uh, I've been using artificial intelligence to make hip-hop beats for like two years now, and I figured out a way to help y'all do it as well in a way that's super easy. Um, but first, let me get started with my story. First things first, I've been a rapper for uh, over a decade now, been and really enjoying making music, been super grateful to, you know, rack up a few million streams at this point across Spotify, Apple Music, etc. Uh, it's just wild to me, super grateful for the fans and super grateful for people that actually listen. Um, the entire time I've been purchasing all of my instrumentals, I've been working with producers or buying the licenses, whatever it may be. I never got into beat creation myself because I was always super intimidated by the process. Uh, the reason being, I grew up super broke and never could afford uh, music theory lessons, how to play guitar, piano, drums, whatever it may be. So, you know, fast forward all these years later and I opened up Logic and opened up the piano roll for the first time and I was like, wait, this is actually a lot harder than I would hope for it to be. So as I click, you know, a couple keys, try to put some progressions together, I'd get the job done. But at the end of the day, um, I feel like my workflow was not as um, uh, effective as I wanted it to be. Uh, I knew what I wanted and what I liked in a sound, but I didn't know how to necessarily get there. Um, at the same time, I have a huge passion area for artificial intelligence. You could check out this other video that I actually created uh, explaining my first time making a hip hop beat using AI. Uh, the fundamental of AI is what you put in is what you get out. Uh, so uh, my thought process was if you could take a bunch of hip hop data, a hip hop data that I already own, train it to an AI model. Can the AI model output something that would be uh, interesting enough for me to use in my music workflow? So that same concept of AI that I was just explaining, um, I actually dropped this EP called Natural Causes. It's the first ever hip hop EP that was fully co-produced using artificial intelligence. So I was hyped about doing it. And most importantly, uh, after I released it, uh, I got a lot of people reach out that were producers and they were like, yo, it'd be crazy if I can use AI into my workflow. How do I do that? So after all these people started reaching out, I was like, well, maybe I should actually think about creating a product that would make it a lot easier for hip hop and music producers, not just hip hop music producers to use artificial intelligence into their workflow and that's why uh, uh, I created Lemonade. Uh, it, literally three to four button clicks and what you're able to do is um, interact with artificial intelligence and drag it directly into your DAW. It's all integrated within your music workflow. Um, so that all being said, uh, let me go ahead and pop into my DAW and show you what Lemonade actually is, what it does, and uh, let's actually use it. All right, so here we are. Here is Lemonade. Lemonade is a music plugin that uses artificial intelligence to help music producers inspire new ideas. Um, so Lemonade is currently compatible in uh, Logic, Ableton, FL Studio, GarageBand, anything that supports VST3 or audio units is what Lemonade is compatible in today. So why did I call it Lemonade? Well, when life gives you lemons, make music, and we use artificial intelligence to help you create those lemons. Um, so it's a super simple process to interact with the artificial intelligence. And that was the overall point. Put a lot of intentionality behind that. Step number one, you pick a lemon. Uh, what do I mean by that? Well, a lemon can be a melody, melody and chords or a drum beat, right? Um, depending on what you're looking to generate and it generates all MIDI uh, patterns for you below in the piano roll, fully functioning piano roll. Um, after that, once you pick a lemon, step number two, choose a flavor of lemonade. So under the hood, we're actually doing a lot of pretty cool work with um, uh, the AI, the uh, key selection on your behalf, and um, just choosing different sounds for you. Um, shout out to the homie, my best friend Jacob, for hooking me up with a few sounds. But the overall idea is, um, let's go ahead and select uplifting, for example, and I'll go ahead and play back a melody. So it by no means is a perfect melody at all, not even close. We just hit generate once, right? But the cool part is, is you can go ahead and drag this directly into your DAW and manipulate it in whatever way you'd like, right? This is where you as a producer become the master. But for me, it's an interesting starting point and idea. So that's an example of a melody. I'll go ahead and just show you the different samples. So that was uplifting and like watch how chill has that lo-fi feel. We'll switch it to energetic.
So when I say that Lemonade is legitimately a all-in-one plugin, so yes, it is a MIDI generator. Yes, it's using artificial intelligence, but it also comes pre-baked with samples. So you can just kind of get started within the plugin and then drag it into your DAW and get created from there. So let's say uh, we wanted a melody and chord instead. Uh, let's go ahead and choose uplifting again and go ahead and hit generate. That actually isn't bad. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this into my DAW. And let's go ahead and um, create something kind of kind of fun slash uh, useful using Lemonade. So let's say those were my quick four bars that I liked. I can hit this button as many times as I want, by the way. Um, uh, I think it's capable. I think we calculated over 50 million outputs currently, and we're only going to continue to get better. Uh, so that being said, I went ahead and I dragged the uh, MIDI into... Um, my DAW and for my sound plugin, I'm actually using something called Scorch. Uh, shout out again to my homie, my best friend Jacob, who killed that plugin. But overall point is I went ahead and took that MIDI file that y'all just heard, put it on a um, VST of a sound that I like honestly even more and look what's possible in the matter of seconds. So I like that, but honestly, I think the chords need to move up an octave, so that's as easy as this. Right? Y'all know how to use your respective DAWs to make that happen. So again, that quickly, we now have an idea starter of chords and the melody or whatever. And this is where you can go in as the producer and actually tweak it. Um, and of course, Lemonade does give you useful data, like what key it's in, in order for you to know as you're tweaking these notes, like, okay, keep this in the, uh, the key of G. So, you know, you can easily just quantize everything if you'd like and make sure it's all good. I like that earlier note actually better. So um, that's how the um, melody and chords works. And the last thing we didn't touch on yet is simply drum beat. So drum beat, very straightforward based on uh, kind of what we we're just talking about. Uh, there's two flavors right now, chill and energetic. And um, yeah, uh, again, pretty self-explanatory based on the mood. And that's the overall point. I wanted this plugin to be as self-explanatory as possible because under the hood, you're doing some crazy powerful things with artificial intelligence. Um, so let's go ahead and generate a chill uh, drum beat now. So similar to melody and chords, there's actually uh, um, samples that power the drums as well. I do not like that drum pattern, so I'll keep going. Okay. Okay, that's definitely fire. So I'm probably going to use that, but just to show you the energetic sample as well. Yep. And what's really cool is you can actually play everything back with your DAW. So if you have other MIDI file in here, just go ahead and push play in your DAW and look what's possible. So let's say I didn't like that um, that drum pattern. What I could do is now all of a sudden. You get the idea. I can hit as many times as I want until I get something that I like. Let's say again, for example, this is the one that I liked. Drag this into your DAW. And all you really got to do from here is become the producer, right? Let's say you wanted to slow this down a decent amount. Let's go to uh, 105 BPM and then um, throw some 808s or whatever it is that you want to do. And then all of a sudden it sounds a lot more like a, a hip hop track or whatever genre you're going after. Hey. Yeah. Yo. Uh. Yep. And one thing I want to be very clear, um, this is not just a product that I'm releasing and just, you know, hoping to just grab a bunch of money from and run away and never do any updates or anything of that nature. Uh, everything is self-funded currently. So I did put a lot of time and energy into creating this plugin. 
and it's only going to continue to get better. Um, and that's why I'm actually selling the plugin, of course. Um, you know, I put in two years of work, so definitely want to be rewarded. But most importantly, uh, all the majority of the funding that I'm getting right now is just being reinvested into Lemonade uh, to create better versions of the application and things of that nature. For example, on our feature roadmap right now, we have um, key selection, so allowing the user, the producer to choose the key and having the AI generate in that key, um, being able to export multiple stems. So as you can see, these, this melody and chord exported together, but being able to export so that it's separate, so it's a lot easier for the producer workflow. Um, and uh, a few other features that have already been in our roadmap. And what I did with that was I emailed the 100 plus customers I currently have, asked for product feedback, and now I'm building what people had asked for. So when you join the Lemonade family, it's kind of part of what you're actually going to end up getting, uh, just direct access to the product owners, but also direct access to feedback and things of that nature. Uh, so that all being said, I think that's the majority of everything I wanted to show y'all. Um, appreciate you uh, being willing to, to watch this video, understand how I use artificial intelligence in my music creation workflow, and uh, I hope this was helpful. All right, and one last thing I do want to quickly share is simply... Um, I know a lot of people are against the idea of artificial intelligence in their music workflow saying things like, oh, uh, it doesn't feel like you as a human are creating it and or learn music theory yourself or, uh, you know, figure out how to learn how to play piano, whatever it may be. I'm posting a few TikToks and a lot of people have a lot of opinions. Overall point is, though, uh, if the tool is interesting to you, then get it. If the tool you think it'll add some value to your music workflow, then get it. And if artificial intelligence is helpful and you feel okay with the idea of using it, then use it, right? Think about the same idea of when Logic came out and people are using digital audio workstations, when you know any chord generation came out, when any MIDI packs came out, um, when Splice came out. There, there's so many cool technologies that are helping with the music workflow, helping to push creative boundaries. And I don't know why us as musicians want to gatekeep the use of artificial intelligence um, and like make each other feel like they're better than one another because they're not using certain tools or whatever. So uh, anyways, if you want to go ahead and download the plugin, support me, support Lemonade, support the vision, uh, I'll put the link down in the bio. And on top of that, uh, feel free to subscribe. I'll be uploading videos about Lemonade and just, uh, you know, AI and music and even my own hip hop music uh, on this channel. And um, feel free to hit me up if you have any questions at lemonadexmusic at gmail.com. All right, guys. Be blessed. Deep down is giving me a gift to go even harder. Hey, light it up, 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 and let it burn down.